What's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Pokemon Silver, Amy's second journey through the world of Pokemon. Last time, we actually faced, and uh, seemingly defeated in this area at least, Team Rocket. Yeah. And Amy, you seem to have enjoyed it a lot more than the last time <laughs> in Pokemon Red that we had to face Team Rocket. Yeah, I just felt like Team Rocket was super friggin' annoying last time <laughs> in Red. Um, because they just, like kept keeping you from doing anything in the game unless you like adhered to exactly what they wanted you to do um i feel like there's a bit more freedom in this one to like just do other stuff too sure um you don't have to go and fight team rocket right then and there like you can kind of do a couple of other things too um and then turn back around and fight them okay um and i feel like maybe it's just you know, the, um, being more prepared in fighting them because I had to fight them in red. Sure. Like, just kind of knowing, like, what, what to do, I guess. Okay, that's fair. Well, and plus they, they added, a, I would argue, a little bit more of a story element, like a reason for yeah. you to fight them as opposed to just, they're in this town and you can't get to the gym without fe defeating uh, yes, them, so yes. you have to defeat them. This time it was like, you know, you were upset because it was like they're hurting Pokemon, they're forcing them yeah. to evolve, like mm -hmm. Lance is asking you for your help, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So. All right. Basically, I didn't care when they were hurting people. <laughs> they started hurting Pokemon, I had a problem with it. <laughs> well, so now what we're going to do, now that we are, you know, hail the conquering heroes, um, <laughs> Amy, I asked you, uh, I guess off camera, but um, there are a couple of other options for you. Now, we still have the mission in Olivine with the lighthouse to surf over to the next town to get the medicine from the pharmacy or now that we have defeated Team Rocket we can check out this what would seem to be an ice type gym so what would you prefer to do in this episode I guess fight the gym that's up to you we could go to the other uh, Sea and Wood, I believe it's called. We could surf to Sea and Wood instead, if you'd like. Those are your two kind of dangling plot threads currently. Okay, so we need to fight in the lighthouse. No, we went up to the top of the lighthouse already. Oh, and right. And Jasmine okay. was there with the sick Pokemon yes, and asked yes, us to no, surf to Sea and Wood. Yeah. Oh, to get the medicine for her. Yes. Correct. Okay. Um. Yeah, so let's just fight the gym. Okay. The ice-type gym, so let's remind ourselves. It says, Mahogany Town Pokemon Gym Leader, Price, the teacher of winter's harshness. I actually like that. You do? It's kind of neat. Yeah. yeah. Well, welcome to the Mahogany Town Gym, mm. as we usually do when we enter a gym. Let's talk to this guy. Yeah. Price is a veteran who has trained Pokemon for some 50 years. Jesus Christ. How old is this man? He's said to be good at freezing opponents with ice-type moves. That means you should melt him with your burning ambition. Well, I don't have any fire Pokemon, so no, that's not going to work. you do not. <laughs> but you do have Onyx, Bayleaf, Poliwag, Muscle, Chinchow, and Noctowl. Yeah. Do you know whom you would like at the top of your list mm. for these fights? Top yeah. Um, I think we can leave Onyx at the top. Okay. Sure. So, Amy, this room is a bit of an interesting thing. So the question is, do you want to go to the left here to talk to this blue-haired kid, to the right here to talk to this red-haired woman, or go up? Let's talk to the red-haired woman first. Check out my parallel turn! What? She is a oh, is that skier. A term? Yes. Skier Clarissa wants to battle with one Pokemon, and she sends out 
Dugong. Okay. So you've got Onyx. Yeah. Which is ground and rock. And neither of them are super effective against water or against ice, <laughs> but neither of them are particularly ineffective against it, right? Uh, fair, but how does water do against ground oh. and against rock? Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess we're switching. Okay, who would you like to switch to? Uh, well, um... Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, how about, um, no, no, because he's also water. I was going to say Chin Chow because the electric, but he's also water. Yeah, but that's fine. Yeah, but water has water, a minus sign. Water, water attacks are not very effective against water type Pokemon. But if you're using your electric type attack against their water type Pokemon. <gasps> oh, okay, so Chinchow. Very good choice. So we take out Onyx, we put in Chinchow. Dugong used Aurora Beam. Okay. It's not very effective. Okay, so let's um Thunder Wave it, and then we'll shock the shit out of it. <laughs> Spark the shit out of it. Yeah, what I say? A shock. Oh, close enough. Yeah, I understood what you meant. Yeah. Uh, so it used Growl and our attack fell, but we used Thunder Wave, and it becomes paralyzed. Okay. So we use Spark, and it hits, and does eh, about oh, nice that amount. much. It's super effective. Okay. Dugong used Headbutt. Uh, let's, uh, spark it again. You got it. It's super effective again. Dugong used Headbutt again. Oh, and we are dead. <laughs> that was a crit. I don't know if that crit mattered personally, but I didn't count well enough. But Chin Chow fainted. Okay. Well, um... So, if we, uh, if we put Noctowl in, we can use Mudslap on it? You're looking at it in the wrong way. Oh. That's a water-type attack right. against a ground-type Pokemon, not a ground-type well, attack Well, I'm thinking about a using Pokemon. a ground-type attack against a water-type Pokemon. Right, so you're looking at it in reverse. Oh. You're saying that a water type attack is super effective against ground, so you should use ground against water. That's okay. So a ground type attack against a water type Pokemon is neutral. Oh, it will okay. it will be neither super effective nor not. Very okay, effective. so we need a grass attack. Uh huh. Or electric. Yeah. But so we, we just... don't have electric, right. so we'll have to put in Bailey. Okay. But I don't want to get our asses frozen. Mm hmm. Because that's bad. Because ice against grass is super effective. Correct. Well, luckily it's in the yellow. Yeah. So maybe if we get off like one razor leaf sure. or two before it freezes us, sure. we'll be good. All right. So you want to try it? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Bayleaf comes in. Hopefully we're faster, but I don't... Okay. We did it. We did it. There's one razor leaf and... Oh, oh, it's still alive. Oh. No. Ah, Dugong is fully paralyzed. <sighs> Beautiful. Fury Cutter, Poison Powder, Razor Leaf, or Cut? Uh, Cut. We got there. Okay. Nicely done. Woo. How stressful was that? Yeah. <laughs> Onyx gained 264. Bayleaf gained 264. Beautiful. And Poliwag gained 528. Nice. I forgot about the experience share. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. Skier Clarissa was defeated because she only had nice. the one Pokemon. Okay. No, you made me wipe out. We got $2,016 for winning. Wow. Loaded. Right? 
I shouldn't have been bragging about my skiing. So now that Chin Chow's fainted, would you like to go heal up? Or do you want to just keep going? Yeah, why don't we go heal up? Just because we're right by the door Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's right next door. Okay. So we will heal. Could have really just given them Chin Chow, but that's fine. She can heal all six of them, I guess. Yeah, why not? <laughs> It's like a spa day for the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely get spa day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure Onyx would look great in a spa. <laughs> he needs to take care of himself too. Okay? Yeah. Self care is important. Uh, are we looking at this they kid can on the. polish his rocks. You get well, his rocks off? Yeah. Uh, do... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go up. Okay, uh, up this way, this way, or this way? Uh. Leftmost, left middle, or right middle? Uh, it is relevant, I promise. Right middle? Right middle. I guess. Okay. <laughs> this gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? I mean, it's weird. <laughs> but hey, we're not playing games here. Oh, you're not? That's what he said. Okay. You better recognize Amy. <laughs> not you're playing right. no games. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Border Brad wants to battle. Snowboarder. Yeah, with two Pokemon. <laughs> Border Brad sent out Swinub. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, he's a ground type Pokemon. So, we're gonna put in. We're gonna put in. Um, we're gonna put in Poliwag. Okay. Right? Uh, that's that's what whoops, we I don't do. know why I went to pack, sorry. Uh, sure. Okay, so Poliwag as a water type would be super effective against the ground type, sure? Yes. And neutral against ice. Correct. Okay, perfect. Swinub used Powder Snow. Okay. It's not very effective. Good, good. But Poliwag was frozen solid. Shit. That is the first time that has ever happened to us. Well, yeah, because we haven't fought any ice. <laughs> well, we did in Pokemon Red. It didn't happen in Red. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I didn't realize it was a thing that could happen in Red, because they didn't mention it. They did. They had ice heels and stuff. Oh, is that what that was for? Okay. Yeah, but it was a long... I mean, but you never saw it. It was just like, at the beginning of the game, they were like, use ice heels to heal frozen Pokemon, and it just never came up. Okay. Speaking of which, would you like to... Use, Use an ice, an ice heel, <laughs> switch, or I guess try to fight through it. You don't know if that's a thing that you can do, but you can try. I guess we'll try to once. Bubble hypnosis, water gun, or surf? Hypnosis. Hypnosis. Polywag is frozen solid. So I'm going to use tackle. Okay, so why don't we try to use an ice heel? Okay. Do we have any ice heels? Ooh, we have four ice heels. Good. So, we will use one on Poliwag. Poliwag was defrosted. Yay. Swinub used Endure, but it failed. I don't know what that means. Hypnosis. We use Hypnosis and it works. First, technically first yes. try. Swinub is asleep. Now what? Okay. Now we're going to Bob, surf it. You got it. Still asleep. Takes a surf. <clears throat> oh, amazing. Super effective. Now we'll just bubble it. <laughs> just bubble it. You got it. We'll just hit it with a couple bubbles. Yeah, why I'll not? Just die. <laughs> so I have fainted. Onyx gained 105. Nice. Poliwag gained 105. Nice. And then Poliwag gained 216. Beautiful. Border Brad is about to use Swinub. Okay. Will we change Pokemon? Oh, no, that worked quite well. Correct. Okay. Okay. Bubble Hypnosis Water Gunner Surf. Hypnosis first, then Surf. It didn't work. Shit, do it again. Tackle. <laughs> Endure. Mm, looks like it's teleporting. Enemy Swinub braced itself. We used hypnosis, and it worked. Yay! And we're surfing it. You got it. Surfing USA. <laughs> well, it's still asleep. Surfing USA, you don't even like that song. No, I don't. 
<clears throat> not a huge fan of the Beach Boys. Surf does that much again. There are a few songs I like by them. Bubble. You got it. Still asleep. This is working rather nicely. Seems to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Swine Up. It's super effective. Swine Up fainted. Polywag gained 216. Oh, so close, but Polywag gains another 216 and grows to level 23. Yay! 32 attack, 31 defense, 27 special attack and special defense, and 50 speed. Wow, we're fast. Pretty fast. Border Brad was defeated. Maybe we should put experience share on a different Pokemon. Do you see how serious we are? Yeah, I kind of get it. <laughs> We got $1,872 for winning. Seriously loaded. <laughs> All right, do you want to go back to heal? Do you, do we need to? I don't think so. Okay. So you want to take the experience share? Yeah, a little bit. Two? I don't know. Who needs it? I mean, I guess like Noctowl? Or, yeah. Noctowl has a different item. Noctowl is currently holding the Quick Claw, which is an item that will occasionally allow that Pokemon to strike first in battle. Oh. Can we give that to a different Pokemon? Absolutely. Took Quick Claw from Noctowl. And then we can give the Experience Share to Noctowl. And then for Quick Claw, you can have Onyx or Poliwag or Muscle or Chinchou. So d should that be on somebody who's slow? Yes. Okay, so can we check people's speeds? Of course we can. We can check. So Chinchou would be first. Well, let's look at Noctowl since this is the bottom. 47. 47. He's fast. 42 That's Noctowl. Fast. Or Chinchou, excuse me. 27 Muscle. Super slow. 50 Poliwag. Okay, fast. 39 Bayleaf. Okay. 47 Onyx. Okay, I'm gonna give it to Bayleaf because. Bayleaf has the Miracle Seed, which is increasing the power of its Razor Leaf. Oh, shit. You can't give it to. Ugh. <laughs> That's like was, the only one that I was you like, don't want. The wanna only one take. that I really wanna give it to is Bayleaf so it can get that Razor Leaf in before it gets hit with an Ice type right. attack. Well, then that's your decision. Do you want to slightly weaken Razor Leaf's power, but still let it be a stab move on a Grass-type Pokemon in the hopes that sometimes it can strike first in battle? Quick Claw is not every time, it's an occasional type thing. Oh. No, I'd rather than just give that to a different Pokemon. Okay, so your slowest at that point was Muscle, but that doesn't mean you have to give it to Muscle. Yeah, but I don't... See a reason to use muscle in this gym, do you? So a fighting type attack mm -hmm. against an ice type Pokemon, how would that go? Oh, pretty well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't we give it to them? <clears throat> you got it. Him. It. It's <laughs> whatever. Okay, so let's give. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am woo, a mess. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Dropping everything. We did it. Okay. So we're happy with healing and stuff then? I think so. For okay. Now. That's fine. Like we fight one more and then we go. Sure. So then do you want to try to go see this girl up here with the red yeah, hair? Let's or the... go to the girl. We'll um we'll heal up after her. Do you know how to get to her? Uh this is a trick. Well, it's a slippery floor, so we can't just walk to the left one square and then up three squares. Uh, because it, it takes us over to here. So, how do you propose to land on the uh, steel-looking floor in front of her? I don't know. What's the best way to do it? It's a puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> I guess... Go up and then try to, like, loop back down. Go up. From where? Like, like, go to the left to that steel plate and sure. then go up. It's another trainer. Oh, so I guess we fight him instead. Well, he saw us, so. <laughs> <coughs> well, we were thinking about it. I know Price is secret. Scandalous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Border Douglas wants to battle with three Pokemon. 
he sends out Shelter. Ah! <laughs> it's ugly. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, do a thing about a thing. Okay, and switch to? Oh, we did, um... Sure, because it would have an electric tap attack. Right, okay. Sure. Okay. I'm like, am I crazy right No, you're now? fine. <laughs> it was either that or Bayleaf. It's just that if oh, this has yeah, an yeah. ice-type move, Bayleaf would not be happy about it. So, Aurora Beam is not very what effective. What type of attack is that? Like a normal or something? What do you think? I don't know. If grass. it wasn't very effective against Chinchow, it can't be grass and it can't be normal. Oh, oh. What? I'll give you a hint. What type of a gym are you? Ace. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Spark, or Water Gun? Uh, Thunder Wave. It worked. Yay! Okay. And it's fully paralyzed. Sweet. Okay. So now let's just spark it. You got it. Spark it up. Spark it up. <laughs> One oh hit. Oh my god, gorgeous. Super effective. Shelter faints. Onyx gains 1, 2, 3. Chinchow gains 1, 2, 3. Yes. And Noctowl gains 2, 4, 6. Nice. Okay. Border Douglas is about to use Shelter. Will we <laughs> change Pokemon? No. Shelter comes out. Also level 24. Okay, Thunder Wave. Okay. It used supersonic. Okay. We are confused. I will use supersonic against it. Okay. It did not work. No. But Shelter is fully paralyzed. Oh, good. Okay, so then we can spark it. We're confused. And we get off a spark. Perfect. <clears throat> Super effective. Shelter faints. Chinchow gains 246. Noctowl also gains 246. Border Douglas is about to use Cloister. Oh, okay. Um, Will we change Pokemon? No. Good to see what this thing looks like in this game. It's pretty hideous. <laughs> Uh, Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Spark, or Water Gun? Thunder Wave. Cloister used Protect. Enemy Cloister protected itself. Chinchow is confused and used Thunder Wave, but Enemy Cloister is protecting itself, and so it didn't work. Let's try it again, I guess. We're confused, and we hurt ourselves. Cloister used Aurora Beam. <clears throat> Does that much. Thunder Wave. <laughs> We're confused no more. Oh, good. And the Thunder Wave works. Yay. <laughs> Aurora Beam. Ooh, critical Yikes. hit. Yikes. Not very effective. Ooh. Um... Uh, can we use a potion? Sure. What type of potion would you like to use? We have a regular potion for 20, a super potion for 50, or a hyper potion for 200. Whoa. I think we just need a regular potion, right? For 20? Yeah. It's at... We're at 23 out of 77. Oh. So we can use a hyper... Po or a super potion. There you go. There we go. You got it. Beautiful. We're at 73. Okay. We take an Aurora Beam. Okay. So now, let's... Um, supersonic it, because it's obviously not fully paralyzed. Didn't affect Cloyster. Cloyster used Supersonic itself, but it didn't work on for us either. It's just Spark. <laughs> Good call. Just Spark. <laughs> spark happens, and almost finishes it off. Uh. Aurora Beam. Okay. 
Does only that much. 13. Alright, so let's, um, let's just water gun it the last bit. We use water gun. It nice. works. Okay. Not very effective, but Phew. Cloyster faints. Chinchou gains 540. Wow. Alrighty. And Noctowl gains 540. Pretty sweet. And Noctowl grows to level 24. Yay! 38 attack, 32 defense, 48 special attack, 58 special defense, 49 speed. Love it. Border Douglas was defeated. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you Price's secret. Girl got $1,728 for winning. Yeah. The secret behind Price's power? He meditates under a waterfall daily to strengthen his mind and body. So do you want to go back down or to the right from here? Uh, let's... Do we need to heal up? Yes. Alright, so let's go back down. Well, down. sorry, that's your call. Poliwag is at half. Yeah, why don't we? Chin Chow's at half. Yeah. Okay, so you want to go back down, you said? Yeah. That'll take us here. Go back down here. You got it. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Okay. Let's heal up. Okay. And... Let's go back. So, now do you want to keep exploring up top? Or no, do you... let's go the blue-haired guy. I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do a thing. Please don't. <laughs> it's Border Ronald who wants to battle, and he sends out... Ronald. Seal. Okay. Um, so we're gonna put in... I don't know why I keep going to the pack, sorry. <laughs> um, so we're gonna put in... Uh, <laughs> um, Chin Chow. Mm -hmm. That is a, once again, a very smart choice. Because again, it's just... It's an ice-type gym in that they use a lot of ice-type attacks, but they're seemingly, so far, almost entirely water Pokémon, except yeah. for um, Swinub that we've seen. So, Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Spark, or Water Gun? Um, let's... Um, Thunder Wave. It works. It's paralyzed. Maybe it can't attack. And it used Growl to lower our attack. Now what? Okay. Let's, um... Supersonic Spark, spark or Water Gun? Spark. Sorry. Yeah, I was just determining whether I wanted to Supersonic or not. Makes sense. Does about half. Okay. Super effective. Seal used headbutt. <clears throat> Alright, spark again. You got it. Kill it. Mm -hmm. Makes okay. sense as well. Dead. Good. Cool. It is super effective. Seal faints. Onyx gains 127. Chinchow gains 127. And Noctowl gains 256. Beautiful. Two more Pokemon left for Border Ronald. Next is going to be Seal. Okay. Will we change Pokemon? No. No. Because you can't send in Heidi Klum, am I right? Yes. That's a super dated reference for anybody who gets that out there. <laughs> yeah, they haven't been together for a while. <laughs> I know. Uh, Thunder Wave. <laughs> who knows? Maybe it's still a sore spot. You know, <laughs> it might still be super effective. <laughs> uh, Magic all <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I'll just pull out Seal's phone number that I've got in my back pocket. <laughs> Enemy seal is fully paralyzed. And we're in the ice type gym. It's skeel. Nice. <laughs> shout outs. <laughs> shout outs to skeel. It's a weird, weird, awesome game. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, um. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> supersonic spark or water gun? Uh, let's, uh. Let's. Let's supersonic it. Um. It worked. Just because I'd rather not get my ass kicked anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. We haven't been getting our ass kicked that hard, I feel like. No. Aurora Beam does a lot. It doesn't. That's two it does. Aurora Beams that brought us to 54. That's a, that's a lot. Okay. I don't want to be down. Okay. All right. Spark. But you've got to be down. 
Because baby, you... are you down? <laughs> We're making different references here. <laughs> yes, we are. Mine's better. Wow. So Seal was confused, broke through the confusion, but was still fully paralyzed. Awesome. Spark. You got it. We'll finish it off with a spark. I believe he's got one more left, or was this the third? It's been so long. We gained 256, and Noctowl gains 256. There is one more. Porter Ronald's about to use Dugong. Will we change Pokemon? No. Dugong comes out. Level 25. He's cute. Thunder Wave again? Yep. But we got our girl Chin Chow here who's gonna help us out. Oh, uh, she's a girl. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. That's fair. Dugong used Growl and our attack fell. Okay. Let's supersonic this one for sure. Missed. Oh, shit. Headbutt. No, no, no. This is the attack that no, does a lot no, of damage. No. Okay. <laughs> uh... Ooh, this is tough. Potion. Ugh. You got it. Oh, God. Please don't use any more headbutts. <laughs> Super Potion will bring us to almost full. Ugh. 76 out of 76. Beautiful, okay. Dugong used... Headbutt. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck you, Dugong. What Holy the hell? shit, that's a crit. That was like twice as much. It's a crit. I know, but it, a crit doesn't do twice as much. Sometimes. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. It's fight very this. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> fight this fucking thing. <laughs> spark? Spark. Okay. Yeah, it's very strong. Alright, so we spark it. Ooh, it does about that much. Super effective. Headbutt. Great, so we're dead. Yes. Chin Chow fainted. Who goes in next? Fuck you. Um, let's see. Okay, so it's a water type Pokemon, so we want. Oh no, Bayleaf. <laughs> okay. Bayleaf. We'll put Bayleaf in. We'll okay. use Razor Leaf. Okay. If we can get it off without dying. We got a Razor Leaf off. And it yes. worked with a crit, which I may have mattered. I do not know. It is super effective. Dugong Ooh. fainted. Bayleaf gained 471. Okay. And Noctowl gained 471. And Border Ronald was defeated. Okay. Darn. I couldn't do a thing. I got $1,728 for winning. I think there's a move a Pokemon can use while it's frozen. Let's heal up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Before we come back. Back to heal up Chin Chow. Off we go. Uh, I'll ask you a question because it, it has come up multiple times now. Would you rather not have Onyx at the top, maybe? Or do you want him at the top? Oh. He, he starts every battle and then you immediately switch him out for someone else because he's weak against both water and ice. Oh. Um, which is all that we've run into in here, so. Cool. Do you, uh... <laughs> yes. Okay, who would you like to switch him for? Um, let's, let's put Chin Chow at the front. I was going to say, you've, yeah. you've consistently switched into Chin Chow, so yeah. that's fair. Okay, so do you want to go to the left? Do you want to go to the right? Do you want to go upper left, upper middle, or upper right? Well, what are we supposed to do? There's... I guess to the left? This way? Yeah. Okay. No, what... That's not what I meant, but I oh. guess that works. Oh, okay. Sure. So we can save her. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So I don't, I don't think we've fought this red-haired woman oh, yet, and oh, obviously the gym leader as well. Oh, so now I see a perfect way to get to her. Do you? Yeah. How? You just... Oh, no, I guess you don't. <laughs> Fuck. I was like, I don't see a perfect way to get to her. But, I don't know what okay, you're talking about. Keep going about. up. I don't know. Okay, so now we're up here. Yeah. And, so then, can... we'll, and then we'll go across. And then we'll go down. Oh, and then we'll go to the right, and then we'll go down, and then we'll go across. Very Did nicely it. done. Very <laughs> nicely done. Okay. To get to Price, our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. Okay, I don't... I don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just fight. I don't need <laughs> this. <laughs> Your mom's fat, too. Skier... Oh, my God. Skier Roxanne wants to battle with one Pokemon. And it is 
A jinx. <gasps> what the fuck? I've seen a jinx before. Because there was one, one of the, the Lorelei of the Elite Four used one against us. But in I Pokemon have no, Red. Oh, like, I have no idea what type it is. I mean, <laughs> I can give you a hint again. Is it ice? Wow. <laughs> It, I will say it may have a secondary type. Well, yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Fair. We're in a nice type gym. Yep. Um, well, regardless, we've got Chin Chow. We're going to paralyze it and, you know. Double slap. Double slap. It's like normal. We have a smack door. So, yes, normal. Uh, double slap is a normal type attack, yes. Chin Chow used Thunder Wave. Okay. It's paralyzed. But not fully paralyzed? Fully paralyzed is what it says when it misses an attack because of the paralysis. Okay. Or misses out on an attack because of the paralysis. Alright, let's uh, spark. We use spark. And it does about that much. Ooh, Jinx that used good. lovely kiss. Ew, what was that? And we fell asleep. Oh. Oh. oh fuck. <laughs> Do we have an awakening? We sure do. I believe it may be only one, but we do have it. It is one. It is one. Do you want to use it? Yes. Okay. Chin Chow woke up. Jinx used double slap. Okay. It hit us twice. Okay. That's what a double slap means. <laughs> <laughs> it's it twice. Uh, let's, um, let's supersonic it. It works. Jinx became confused, is confused. Hurt yourself. And hurt itself. <laughs> she listened. That, that sounds terrible. <laughs> hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. All right, spark. <laughs> spark hits. And brings her into the yellow. Okay. Jinx is confused. And uses double slap. Uh, all right, well, hopefully... Hit three oh, times. No. Double means two, <laughs> you asshole. All right, um, spark again. Hopefully, we it's like where it. someone says a couple, but they don't actually mean a couple, which would mean two. Right. They just say that word because it means some uh, amount yeah, of things. Yeah, some variation of two. <laughs> Jinx some is confused. Variation of two. Yeah, exactly. And it hurts itself. Nice. And it faints. Yes. Oh, that supersonic did me so well. <laughs> <laughs> Chin Chow gained 408 oh, experience. Beautiful. Okay. And Knocked Owl gained 408 experience. Mm -hmm. And Skier Roxanne was defeated. It was okay. her only Pokemon. I wouldn't lose to you in skiing. We got $2,016 for winning. If you don't skate with precision, you won't get far in this gym. So, this is what your team looks like. Are we healing up? Yeah, just because do we only get... have like the main trainer now? That's what it looks like. I mean, yeah. we faced all we faced this blue-haired guy, this blue-haired guy, and then both of the people down here as well as and there's this one. Nobody here. up there, or we can't really tell. We already went across the top, remember? Okay, yeah. From, okay, from so from let's heal here. up and then come back and put the main guy. Okay, price. Price, whatever. That's fine. Fisher I'm just price. reminding you. You you learned Fisher Price. Is that what you said? <laughs> Jesus. Maybe don't say that to him. He might not be too appreciative of your, uh, you know. What? He's got water types in there. <laughs> nice. All right. We are fully He's healed. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I mean, Fisherman. Fisherman Price. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do we get up to the gym leader? How do we... So, Amy, I don't know if you recall back in Lieutenant Surge's gym in Pokemon 1 where we had that very annoying switch puzzle where you're like... Yeah, it was super freaking annoying. <laughs> okay. So, I would say it's fair to say you're not a big lover of puzzles. No. This is a, an ice floor puzzle in this gym to try to get up to price. Would you like to try to figure it out on your own? Or would you like some assistance from me? Definitely some assistance. Okay. Like, a lot of assistance and like, just... Just get to first. Okay. <laughs> can, I, can I explain what I'm doing as I get there? Sure. Yes. Yeah. That's so, fair enough. Okay. So, when we were up here with her, mm -hmm. you noticed that there's this block in front of him that yes. you can stand on, and that's presumably then where you would talk to him and fight him right. from. 
And obviously all these blocks that we're standing on uh, are the ones that you would stop at. So what I typically do in these situations is I try to go backwards. So I would go in front of this blue haired guy to the left and then down here to these uh, statues. Okay. Okay. So, but the problem is, right, how do you get to the statues? So, one way that I've found to do it, technically, I think the way that you're supposed to do it is this way. You go up here, over to... Did I mess that up? No. I, yeah, I did. Because you go this way, this way, and then down to here. Oh. And now you've made it. Okay. And then you go up and over and you're there. Oh, okay. But the other way that I've found to do it is if you go like this. If you start here, and you just go up up over down like it's just like a oh, little okay. bit faster of a way yeah. than instead of going across the top here like yeah. that from going to the left yeah. but either way there are so kind of two different ways to get there yeah. okay. they both follow somewhat the same pattern once you get to the statues yeah uh down at the bottom of the can statue. i say i really love this sort of graphic that they have at the top here with like the icicles the like slashes down or like almost like a frost Sure. Uh, on a window type of yeah, yeah. You can't really tell exactly what it is, but mm -hmm. you can tell it's ice. Yeah, it's, it's like cool. I mean, it's a cool motif for the yeah. for this type I mean, of gym. It, I like it works. It. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. All right. So it's before we cool start with price, let's just double confirm. Chin Chow is still up top. Is that where we would like to start this battle? Mm, uh, yes. Every yeah, everybody else that we fought except the one border that had, um, ice type swineubs. Uh, pure ice type Pokemon or ice ground, as you as you correctly pointed out, um, had um, water types so that we could start with Chinchou and it made sense. Okay. All right. So that's fine. Then let's start with Chinchou against Price. Are you ready? Yes. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your I hear elder. That. What's that? I hear that. <laughs> since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. Okay. I, Price, the winter trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Okay. Cool. Now you get to see how old this man who's been training with Pokemon for 50 years is. Fool me, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> he really looks... <laughs> Haggard? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even have the word. <laughs> I believe in the anime, he said, and this is nowhere near what the game says, but I believe in the anime, he tells Ash that he was, like, trapped in the frozen tundra with his Pokemon for, like, years. Oh, my God. And they, like, kept him alive or whatever. Oh, God, what did he eat then? I don't... No, 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 no. No, because it was the Pokemon that he had and will have in this fight. You obviously don't know what he's going to have, but you'll see it, I guess. But okay. <laughs> maybe it wasn't years. Maybe it was just like he fell into a cavern or something, and they were down there and they helped him get out of the cavern, but... If you know the story, leave it in the comments. Sure, there you go. Uh, Leader Price wants to battle with three Pokemon. Okay. And he sends out... Seal. Okay. Smart starting with Chinchou. Yeah. Seal is level 27. Oh, jeez. And his first Pokemon, which typically means that the others are stronger. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to Thunder Wave it, <laughs> and then we're going to Supersonic it, and then we're going to Shock it. Or spark, spark it. it. But still, I, again, I knew what you meant. Uh, it worked. Seal used Icy Wind. Five damage. Not, bad. not very effective. Okay. Chinchou's speed fell. Oh. Alright. Supersonic, you said? Yes. We use supersonic. We are still faster than it even after it dropped our speed. Supersonic worked the first try. Seal is confused. And used headbutt. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. No, it's not. Spark? Yes. Super effective. Almost half. It is confused no more. Damn it. And used headbutt again. Fuck. Oh no. It did, what, 23? 
So we would live another one unless it's a crit. Okay. All right, let's, um, let's spark it. And then we'll try to use a potion. Sure. Yeah, a super potion would be great here. Critical hit! Yeah. That would not have taken it out without that crit. It is super effective. Seal fainted. Chin Chow gained 288. Noctowl gained 288. Nice. And Noctowl grew to level 25. Nice! 39 attack, 33 defense, 50 special attack, 60 special defense, and 51 speed. Very nice. Noctowl is trying to learn Reflect. But Noctowl can't learn more than four moves. Delayed an older move to make room for Reflect. We'll say yes, but probably not, ultimately. Okay. It's either Tackle, Peck, you can't get rid of Flash, or Mud Slap. So if, if you recall, Reflect kind of puts up like a little window mirror-y looking thing. Yeah. And it says that it like raised defense or put up a shield or whatever. Okay, but it's it just, doesn't like send the attack back at the original Pokemon. It, despite its name, it does not. Okay, so let's keep Tackle then. You got it. And we're definitely keeping Peck and Mud's left. <laughs> you got it. Noctowl did not learn Reflect. Okay, good. Leader Price is about to use Piloswine. Oh. Will we change Pokemon? Yes. Okay. We will. So let's go through your thought process here. You've never seen a pile of swine before, but what is it? What What do you think it's it is? It's like swine nub. That. Except it's not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's evolved swine nub. Okay. So what two types do you think it is? Ground and, and ice. So who would you like to use against it? Uh. Uh. Poliwag? Am I thinking of that right? You are. I mean, again, <laughs> Chin Chow is also a water type. Right. But um, Chin Chow's electric attacks won't do any good against um, the ground type. Right. So we can't, like, thunder wave it. And the only other thing that's super effective against the ground is... Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You were doing it, right? Doing you were okay. doing it. Right. Is grass. And we don't really want to chance that with, uh, with Bayleaf. With Bayleaf. Bayleaf may be able to come in and do like a little bit of cleanup if Poliwag gets in trouble. Right. But. Okay. So, but yeah, let's put Poliwag in. Okay. And also, Chinchow could come in and do some cleanup if if Poliwag faints. Can we take that thing off a of muscle? Because I don't know if we're using him. Well, we can't do it during battle, but. Oh. Okay. Well, so I guess that's not happening in this gym. Quick claw. Well. Muscle would be super effective against the ice type, but... But only the ice, not the ground. Well, it right. wouldn't be necessarily... If you use ground against fighting, it's neutral. Okay. So it's not like muscle would be weak against ice or ground. So muscle could come in against this thing as well. It would, like, Poliwag is still your best bet. I'm talking about if, if Poliwag goes down for I some just reason. I to use that item on Poliwag then. Mm, well, we didn't know this Pokemon was coming up. It was a surprise. <clears throat> so, Poliwag is going to come in. Poliwag is fast. It might be faster than this thing. Poliwag's very fast. It is level 31. Oh, fuck. What? <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> his weakest was 26. <sighs> or 27 or whatever it was, which is stronger than every God. Pokemon on our team. Jeez. Christ, hypnosis, please. <laughs> hypnosis. We are faster, but that hypnosis did not work. Pilotswine used Blizzard. <laughs> oh my god. We lived. It is not very effective. It's not? <laughs> are you fucking sure? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I've never seen anything more effective <laughs> than that. <laughs> All right, let's try Hypnosis. And if it kills Poliwag, it then we'll use a different Pokemon. Sure, but... it worked, though. Pilus One is asleep. Okay. Now what? Surf? Yeah. That's your best bet, uh, yeah. power-wise. Okay. Whew! That was very scary. <sighs> that is not bad. Ugh. You are eight levels weaker than this that thing. That was not effective. <laughs> that was super effective. You explain to me how that works. It is eight levels stronger than you. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, um, surf it again. It's still asleep. Drown that thing alive. Please. 
<laughs> it's super effective. Pilus One's still asleep. Okay. We'll surf it again. And we're getting there. Ooh, yeah! Yes. Super effective. Pilus Wine fainted. Poliwag gained 531. Ugh. Gorgeous. And Noctowl gained 531. Wow. And Leader Price is about to use his final Pokemon. Now, if you look up at the graphic up at the top left there. Yeah. The first Pokemon is X'd out. Yeah. And the last Pokemon is X'd out. Yeah. Usually the last Pokemon is the strongest and the best. So you oh. just beat his strongest Pokemon. Oh. And now he's sending in his second strongest, okay. which is Dugong. Oh. Shit. Well, we don't have the Pokemon that was good against that. It now. didn't he didn't faint uh Chinchou. He didn't? No, it's at like twenty six, it's in the oh, yellow, okay. but it didn't faint it. So will we change to Chinchou? Yeah. Yeah, Chinchou's at oh sorry, level twenty six. It's at twenty nine health. Can we use a potion on it? Yeah, it's do you want to take an attack though? Well, whoever's in will, we could keep Poliwag in to take the attack while we heal up Chinchou. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Cause then if Poliwag faints, it's not a huge deal. Right, because we're not gonna use it anymore. Sure. So we use a super potion on it? Yes. Yeah, I think we'll miss out on two points of health. We'll gain 48. Four. Yeah. Oh, no, it healed it all the way. Well, yeah. It, sorry. The healing didn't do a full 50 oh, healing okay, because... Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Poliwag fainted to a headbutt. Yeah, that's But funny. we expected that. And we'll put in Chinchou. Yeah. Okay. We'll do Thunder Wave, then Supersonic, or Thunder Wave, then Spark? Thunder Wave... Just do Thunder Wave, and I'll let you know. Ooh, Dugong's faster than us. Ugh. It used a headbutt and did oh, 30 God. damage. Jesus Christ. We used that and paralyzed it, Thunder Wave. So Supersonic Super or Spark? Definitely. Supersonic, okay. We are now faster than it. Okay. You've now learned something what? about paralysis. Oh, okay. It makes it slower. Correct. Which makes sense. If something yeah. is paralyzed, yeah. it would be slower. Dugong is confused. The paralysis or the uh, supersonic worked, Whew. and it hurt itself. Oh, gorgeous! Oh, thank you. Spark time. Yes. Sparkity spark, spark spark. <laughs> nice. Super effective. Dugong is confused no more. Okay. It broke through the confusion, but it's fully paralyzed this time. Oh. Yes. Oh my God, that's so. Be more amazing. Reapply the supersonic or spark. Spark. It's fine. If he's fully paralyzed, it's fine. He was fully paralyzed that turn. Every turn is a different chance oh. to be paralyzed. Okay. Still. Dugong he's used right headbutt. Now. Okay, good. So we should go to 17, 15, sure, right. whatever. Spark. I think you got this one. I think so too. Super we effective. Dugong <laughs> fainted. We did it. Chinchou gained 546 and grew to level 27. 31 attack, 28 defense, 44 special attack, special defense, and speed. Yeah. Knockdown gained 546. And leader Price was, was defeated. defeated. <clears throat> ah, I am impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You are worthy of this badge. Thank you. We got $3,100 for winning. Nice. And... That's insane. Amy. Yes. Chin Chow is evolving. <gasps> Chin Chow, I love you. <laughs> Whoa. What is that thing? Congratulations. Your Chin Chow evolved into Lantern. Gruel received the Glacier Badge. Nice. That badge will raise the special stats of Pokemon. Nice. It also lets your Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across real Whirlpools. Nice. And this, this is a gift from me. We got TM16. Is it your dick in a box? Ew. <laughs> That's a... I can make jokes. I won't make jokes. <laughs> That TM contains Icy Wind. Mm. 
It inflicts damage and lowers speed. It demonstrates the harshness of winter. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, you ready to go? You should go ahead. Sorry. Wear like a jacket or something. You're rather old, and you're in a nice gym. <laughs> Yeah, let us give you some advice, old man. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, wait, we gotta talk to our friend. He always congratulates us. Price is something, but you're something else. Thanks. That was a hot battle that bridged the generation gap. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> That's like a whole thing. <laughs> but we didn't see our name on the thingy. Oh, well, we can go check it out. I'm sorry. I forgot. You're absolutely right. First, we're healing because now I walked all the way over here, but that's my fault. We will go make sure our name is properly etched on that statue at the front. We are healed up now. Make sure they spelled it correctly because <laughs> they always manage to get at least one letter wrong. Yeah, there's two U's, man. Two U's in Gruel. Mahogany Town Pokemon Gym Leader, Price. Winning Trainers, Gruel. Nice. Uh, so, Amy... First of all, congratulations. Why did I do that? That is not what I'm trying to do. Anyway, yes, congratulations, first of all. Thank you. Second of all, you have a lantern now. Yeah. It's kind of ugly. I liked Chin Chow better, but oh. I'm sure he's better than Chin Chow. Well, do you remember Chin Chow's stats a little? Yeah. Its last three stats were 44, right? Mm -hmm. Well, now... Nice. It's got 42 attack, 39 defense, 55 special attack and special defense, and it kept the 44 speed. Okay. But its special okay. attack and special defense went up by 11 apiece That's when it evolved. That's been sweet. So, you have a lantern now. Yes. Level 27. Okay. And your knocked owl with the experience share oh is level God. 25. 107. Health. That's nuts. Yeah. It is your strongest Pokemon. Now you're so second. High. Yeah. <laughs> That's like almost twice Onyx. Yeah. But wow. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. So, um, Amy, who would you like up at the top? You want to keep Lantern up top or you want to switch up the lead? No, let's switch back to Onyx because he could use it. <laughs> okay. So, Amy, I believe the only remaining plot thread. First of all, let's check something. This guy is still here, so he would not he will not let us go to the right. Oh. So I guess we have to do other things before he will get out of the way. But, as we've learned, we still need to go to Seanwood to get the drugs for Jasmine's sick Pokemon in the lighthouse so that we can face her. Well, is it even gonna still be sick now that we've stopped the frequency? Uh that's I guess a good question, but you would have to climb all the way back up to the top of the lighthouse to find out. Well, I mean, I have to anyway when I go back with the drugs, right? With When you go back with the drugs, yeah. But then you'd have to do it three times Fine. if you're wrong. So. Just let it die. Wow, rude. But then you'll never get the badge. She'll just be up there with it the whole time. Good. <laughs> so, I'm... I'm just I'm going to say that that is the end of this particular episode. I think Amy did quite enough in this one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations again. Please, everybody watching this, please feel free to give Amy your appropriate congratulations down in the comments below. Did you think that that battle was difficult? Did you like Amy's strategy? Did you not? Let us know. We would love to hear from you. Uh, any likes that you leave, any comments that you leave, any subscriptions that you give us would be super appreciated. It helps us out quite a bit. And obviously we hope that you continue to enjoy all that we do here on the Geek For All family of channels. For this episode, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we'll see you all next time. Thanks, everybody. 